Oh, hi. <laughs> Hold on. Welcome. <laughs> If you're watching on YouTube, chill, what you doing? Come join us on TikTok on the Black Women in Grants page. 63,900 of y'all on there. <sighs> Just finished the eye makeup, shower, got a couple more bites of breakfast, but I'm here. I made it. Oh, well, I missed all my first eye. <laughs> I like doing that. Good morning. Welcome. Hey TikTok livers, hey TikTok replayers watching this on the playlist, hey y'all, come in, let go, y'all ready? Hope you guys are having a phenomenal day, I'm looking forward to our discussion today, so come on in, I'm going to let TikTok do its thing, get a little swig of baby coffee in my mini mug, you see me, mm-hmm, y'all. This is Black Women in Grants. Hey, Black Women. This is for Black Women, for profit, small business owners. Y'all come in the room, say hello. Let me know you can see me and hear me by putting hashtag FYP. If you're Black, you're a woman, you're for profit, small business owner, put hashtag FYP. Last little bite of a frittata with salsa. It's hanging on. Mm -hmm. mm. Need grasses. Good morning, good morning. Mm -hmm. Welcome. Come in, say hello. Let me know you can see me and hear me by putting hashtag FYP for you, Paige. Can see y'all now. <laughs> hey y'all. So FYP lets TikTok know that you found your place for now, your people for now, and we think that others should be in the room with us, like other black women, for profit, small business owners, right? Good morning, Queen. Good morning. Quan Quandra, I see you. Hey girl, what are y'all's businesses that you're looking for grants for? Are y'all looking for grants? Put the name of your business or what you do in your business if you're looking for grants. Good morning, Katrina. Done. Mm-hmm. Who are our black women for-profit small business owners in the house? Let me see some hashtag FYPs. If you're black, if you're a woman, if you are a small business owner, if you're for-profit, if you're over the age of 18, if you own at least 51% of your business, you're based in the United States. And you're seeking grants for your business. All I want to see is a hashtag FYP to let me know that's you and you're in the right place. That's what we're talking about right now. Who are you, black women? Where y'all at? Talk to me. Let's see. Let's get us started in here. <laughs> black women, for profit, small business owners, seeking grants over the age of 18, own at least 51% of your business. Based in the United States. Where y'all at? Put hashtag FYP. I see two or three. Okay. Hey, y'all. So, you don't have to put your website. You don't have to put your email. You don't have to tag yourself here on TikTok. Just tell me what you do. That if you got a grant today, what business would that be for? Like, what do you do in your business okay i saw um grants and sponsorships i saw a trucking company i saw i think that was it so i'm trying to give y'all more time before more people get in here to tell me what you do 
Now, Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Okay, it seems like, okay, so let me slow down. Good morning, y'all. Welcome. This is Grant Prep Academy, or GPA, here on the Black Woman in Grant's page. So make sure y'all follow this page. We have about 63,900 of you guys. I'm Dr. AJ Austin, winner of over $51,700 in grants and grant-funded opportunities. I also created the community over at blackwomenengrants.com where collectively we've won over $120,000 in grants and grant-funded opportunities, sponsorships, partnerships, contests, giveaways, subsidies, bursaries, grants, scholarships, the list goes on and on and on. And this is all for being a black woman, small business owner. We are for-profit businesses. I know some of y'all got non-profits, but we don't talk about that here. We are based in the United States. We're over the age of 18. Um, we own at least 51% of our business. And we're winning grants and grant-funded opportunities. I can tell you about it. You got to ask me specific questions about it. I'm happy to help. But you can beat me over at blackwomenengrants.com. Beat me to that site. Because I'm going to talk through some of the stuff that's on the site today. Like a grant tracker sheet that gets you started on finding and applying for grants for your black woman-owned for-profit small business. Y'all got it? Put hashtag FYP if you got it. Sweet Tea does floral. Tiffany, everything is over at blackwomenengrants.com. Check it out real quick. We offer scholarships there. And I have five scholarship spots open right now. So go there and check it out. It lets you get into our crew for only 97 bucks for a 12-month period. Free list of grants, the grant tracker sheet, a book I wrote called Finding Funding. How to Find and Secure Debt-Free Non-Traditional Funding for Your Black Woman-Owned Small Business. That's me, Dr. AJ Austin. You get the ebook version. You can only get this book when you join us in the mentorship over at blackwomenandgrants.com. And there's an app that'll read the book to you as well. Okay? So let me go through some of these comments really quickly. I see we got Airbnb, healthcare staffing agency, corporate gifting, custom gifts, want to start an assistant living. Hello, Lola girl. Hello, Tiffany. Hello, Ocean. Um, sell products online. Okay, floral. There we go. And sweet treats. Cool. So let's chat a bit about if you were to win a grant today. Y'all told me what you do. Now, these are literal questions on a small business grant application. Tell me what you would use grant funds for. So if someone wrote you a check for a grant today for the business you just put in the chat that you do, not your website, not necessarily who you help per se, but just what you do. If they were giving away a grant for sweet treats, home-based businesses, if they were giving away grants for floral, if they were giving away grants for selling products online, um, what else? Let me see. If they were giving away grants for gifts, if they were giving away grants to start an assisted living, um, if they were giving away grants for corporate gifting and custom gifts, if they were giving away grants for healthcare staffing agencies and Airbnbs and short-term rentals and starting a trucking company, what would you use the grant for? Let me know in the chat real quick. Have y'all thought about that? Because that's key. That's important. Good morning, Landry Laundry. Hey, girl. To enhance youth entrepreneurship in underserved communities, okay. Marketing and supplies, okay. Pay your staff, okay. Let's go a little deeper. Are you paying part-time staff? Are you paying full-time staff? Katrina, spell out R-E-I-T. What does that mean? Some of us may know, some of us may not. The grants definitely don't. Um, what does starting up your business look like? Type it in the chat. 
Let's get deeper because that's what grants are going to want to know. What type of marketing, BB? What type of supplies? How will you enhance youth entrepreneurship in underserved communities, Rafa? Or Rafa? Come on, y'all, help me. How would you use these people's grant money? Let's think. To purchase a vehicle for your business. What type of vehicle? What year, make, and model? What are you going to do with a vehicle? How will that vehicle help you grow your business? Tawana, what do you need a grant ASAP for? Answer the questions that's on the table. What type of starting up in a business would you use a grant for? We got to answer these questions that are on the table because these are literally questions that are on your grant application. Y'all are not specific enough. Y'all talk in generics. So think about it like this. I don't know how many of you guys are moms, but I know when I see videos of moms and they go pick their kids up from school and they know this kid has been away from them for eight hours and some things probably happened during the day, but as soon as that baby get in the car and the mom says, hey babe, how was your day? What did you do in school? Nothing. How was your day? Good. That's how y'all grant answers sound to me. Oh, what would you use grant funds for? Oh, stuff. You know, marketing. Eh. You know, to grow. And it's like, okay, you want to tell me more? Anything else? Anything interesting? Because, see, I'm not in your world. The grants are not in your world. So you got to get specific. Some of that keep asking y'all questions until you get specific enough that it will stand out for a grant. Because if not... You become the people that come on my lives and like, I don't never win no grant. They don't never give me that, man. I want to give up. I'm tired. I'm overwhelmed. Is this legit? Should I keep going? Is it a scam? No, it's you. Answer the question. <laughs> so think of it like that, okay? Now let me see. If you want to put a revised answer in the chat, you're welcome to. If you're new here, put hashtag FYP. Welcome to grants, babes. Black women in grants, that is. Now, y'all know they say, what Olivia Pope say, or what did Papa Pope tell Olivia, you got to be twice as good to get half as far. Same thing with grants. The fact that these answers are what you would put on a grant application asking somebody to write you a check for their money, the answer's got to be good. Twice as good as the other people who are applying for this same money. Y'all get it? Put a hashtag FYP if this is making sense to you so far. If you need help, I'll just keep asking you questions until you get there. Thank y'all for the 3.4K likes. I see you. So, Brand New says she would use her grant for products and building services, plumbing, electrician. What type of products? And when you say building services, that's the plumbing and electrician, okay? Um... And if this is as good as your answers get, this is as good as your answers get. Um, I just want to know what you guys will put. Purchasing products in bulk. Still don't know what those products are in bulk. How much? Oh, that'll be my next question. I would open a facility to facilitate program services. Very, okay. All right. Dwelling and supplies to start. Okay. I would align my vision to their core values. Thank you, Rafa. You see, you've done this before. Have you ever applied for a grant, girl? So Rafa is sharing with you guys something that's called the rubric. Grants have um, a grading scale for applications, and your answers are literally being graded just like them babies that go to school and things happen. They turn in assignments, but when they get in the car with mama down, we'll talk about it, Okay. Mama getting graded for them answers on that grant application as well. So if your um, answers to how would you use the grants don't reflect what the grant is looking for, you ain't got to worry about winning that grant. Just like that baby ain't got to worry about graduating. She ain't turning in that paper. If she ain't showing up to school. If she ain't asking them questions on them tests right. Same thing for mama. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, yes, your vision, what you will do with the money. For example, making your community a better place, but specifically how? Here at Black Women in Grants, we've been here on TikTok with you guys for 10 months. We went from 400 of you guys on the page to now 63,900. Y'all hear the growth? That means we've been doing something. Grants are looking for what 
have you been doing without our money? Then they look for something called social impact, a.k.a. vision alignment, meaning how will you take our money and make your world a better place when it comes to your online and offline community? What that means is, over at blackwomeningrants.com, I've created a mentorship program for the people who have watched our viral video that has almost 800,000 views, teaching you where to go find grants for free right here on our um, Black Women in Grants TikTok page. And so I created a mentorship. Again, it's over at blackwomeningrants.com, www.blackwomeningrants.com. Com. I'm dropping it in the chat. No, I can't pin it because TikTok won't let me. So screen grab it, write it down, go there, check it out. Because when you come join us for $97 for one year, the regular price for this program is $297. That equates to us having given away in the last 10 months $50,000 plus in just letting you come learn with us about grants, finding grants, applying for grants, what grants are, what they're not, what to look for, what to look forward to. But did y'all hear the numbers? Because that's called impact measurement. How do you know what you're doing in your business and in the community is working? Well, we have 250 plus of you guys in our mentorship. We have 63,900 plus of you guys right here on the Black Women in Grants page. We've given away $50,000 plus in scholarships to teach black women about this thing called grants, aka debt-free, non-traditional funding, money you don't have to pay back, money you don't have to give back, money that really can't be taken away from you unless you don't do what you tell them that you're going to do with their money. Y'all see how this works? So we've talked about aligning your vision. We've talked about sharing your social impact. We've talked about measuring that impact by putting numbers on it, making it valuable or quantifiable, if you will. That's also translated into ROI, or return on investment. Showing grants what their money will go towards. So for example, hey, Mr. Grant Check Writer, we've already been out here doing this work in our business and in our community online and offline, when you write us a check, not only is it going to reimburse us for the 50K we've given away, but it's going to open more doors for more women to come learn for us, from us. We're going to have the ability to do more events, bringing them in. And as a result, we're going to tell these women about your grant. So can you imagine 60000 plus being interested in your grant opportunity? Don't you want to come on board with us? Here's why you should give us that money. We're going to go teach and bring the people back to you, make you look real good. And not only are we saying this, we've done it. Here are some records of the last 200 people we introduced to a grant opportunity and how many of them have been awarded, rewarded just for applying, reported back, and collectively, we've won over six figures in funding in a matter of pure months being on TikTok. Y'all see how that works? So it's not about let me pad my pockets. It's not about marketing just for the sake of marketing. It's not about I need this. I need to go do this. I need. To. You have to give them something back, something tangible that shows them, yes, the vision you have for giving somebody this money sure does align with the vision that I have for giving it away, for using it to multiply my impact, to help my community. Is this helping? If you had an aha, if you get it, if it's making sense, put hashtag FYP. Because believe it or not, grants that give money, they have an agenda too. They want to look good too. They want that money to come back to them some type of way too. So if this is helping you, put hashtag FYP. Making sense? If you have more questions and you want to dive deeper with us, in the grant game over at blackwomeningrants.com, make sure you grab one of our $97 scholarships. Get in the crew for a year. Come learn what you need to learn. Um, and go to blackwomeningrants.com. Now, the scholarships are first come, first serve. They always get got. <laughs> so we have to have the conversation about it, okay? I'm letting you in to the program live on air. So as soon as you register, I see you and I can send you the link to jump in and start learning from things like the video trainings that we've hosted, the events that I recorded for you. You go back and watch the replays about grants, what to look for, 
what to look out for, and what to look forward to. Because it's possible to find grants, apply for them, and win them. But you got to believe you can. And you got to go in with a strategy like the one I just broke down for you. So what questions can I answer for you really quick about anything that I've shared so far? Did y'all know that grants were grading you? Mm -hmm. Did y'all know that grants also expected something in return? Mm -hmm. So while grants are looked at as free money, um, you still got to give a little bit, okay? So that makes sense though, right? If someone is writing you a check, why not? Why can't they have expectations to get something back, right? So what questions can I answer for you? <laughs> <laughs> she said, I got to treat this as writing a thesis. You can, but ain't nobody going to read all that. They're going to be like, in 500 characters or less, Miss Thesis. We ain't going to read your book. Put that in your book, book. Put that in your thesis, then turn it into a book. However, put it in characters, not words. So characters are letters, spaces, and numbers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they like, our application is small. Just like these TikTok comments, y'all can't put too many words in there. Before it cut you off, okay? So, they like, get to the point, wrap it up. We got 500 of y'all. <laughs> thesis is different because only one a couple y'all defended at a time. But 500 want the same thing? Everybody trying to get that degree? Okay, she said, got it. Good. <laughs> What other ahas, questions, takeaways are you grabbing so far? Let me know. Is this helping you to kind of understand grants and what's expected? Because like I said, people see the word grants, they think free money, they think, oh, I can just go apply. But you really have to have some strategy. If you're new here, put hashtag FYP. Hey, new here. Welcome. I'm Dr. AJ Austin, winner of over $51,700 in grants and grant-funded opportunities, which are my faves. We talked about that yesterday. Um, I was sitting outside in the yard. We call it the flower garden. Um, my neighbor plants the most beautifulest flowers, so I added some lawn furniture recently. So I started sitting out there doing my lives in the garden. And so we were living and fighting away bugs and bees yesterday. <laughs> on the left. <laughs> and we talked about the grant funded opportunities that are available in the form of business training and development programs. Good morning, lady. Where um, your education to take your business to the next level as far as getting ready to pitch for funds, getting ready to apply for higher level grants, etc. That education can be paid for. I have eight programs that I recommend our mentees over at blackwomeningrants.com to go join for free. I've been through all of them. I've actually been through 25 programs just like that, designed for you if you're new in business, if you're trying to start a business, if you need to get all of these ideas about how you're going to grow and make money out of your head, regardless of where you are in your business, there are communities to surround you, coach you, train you, mentor you, hold you accountable, hold your hand, support you, pour into you. And we, as black women, small business owners, we need that. So they're available. Grants have taken care of the cost of your tuition, and you don't have to worry about it. You can go in and relax, prepare your business if it's not already ready, fleshed out. These types of environments, incubators and accelerators, they're designed to help you flesh that business idea out and go out and get you some more money, girl, whether it's through your customers and clients or through grants and other grant-funded opportunities. Did y'all know that? Have y'all heard of business incubators and accelerators, a.k.a. grant-funded opportunities? Let me know. Anybody heard of that? Nope. Oh, okay. Thank you, Rob. What about this? If you're here, what phase is your business in? There are only two phases. Nothing in between, according to grant applications. Y'all ready? Put hashtag FYP if you're ready. I want to see who here can identify what phase their business is in. It's very simple, but people tend to make it complicated by overthinking it. But put hashtag FYP. If you want me to share with you the two phases that grants are looking for your business to be in, one or the other.
One person? Oh, okay. Well, two people. Okay. So the first phase that a grant is going to say is, are you a startup? Any startups in the house? You know, right away before I even break down the definition that you a startup. Put startup in the chat if that's you. Startup is, you know, you're thinking about it. You're like, you know what? I got a really good business idea. So notice I said idea. It's still up here. Mm -hmm. Processing. Percolating. Go to sleep thinking about it. Wake up thinking about it at work thinking about it, etc. It's maybe in here. You've been journaling. You got a collection right behind this screen. I have a whole shelf <laughs> full of brand new journals just for ideas, little jot lists, etc. So maybe you got journals. Maybe your ideas are floating around on these loose leaf pieces of paper in your home office like me. I got like four big storage totes full of papers from over the years. I've been in business almost 20 years. <laughs> so I got a lot of papers. But maybe that's you too, ideas floating around. Maybe it's on your Bapruda. That's what my little niece when she was little, she couldn't say computer. She'd say Bapruda. So maybe your ideas are on your Bapruda. Like your Google Docs, your Google Drives, um, your email threads. Maybe your ideas for your business are still in your phone on your notes app. You ain't shared it yet. But if that phone died today, you don't know what you would do. Startup phase. Anybody here in the startup phase? I see Katrina. Laureen Golden. Okay. Startup phase. Yep. Any other startuppers? The reason I'm asking you about the two phases is because this is also going to determine the types of grants you apply for. So if you're in the startup phase, you need to be looking for startup grants. What that means is there are different requirements for you because you haven't technically started. You're in what's known as pre-revenue. That means you have not made money, honey. With that idea, they're still up here, they're still here, they're still here, and they're still here. Okay? Y'all got it? My startup. That's phase one. Again, there's only two phases of business according to grants and grant applications that I've won multiple times. There's no in between. But I already know. Somebody going to say, well, I'm your dog. Nope. You either start up or your option two, which is started. You've already started. So that means you graduated here. You graduated here. You graduated here. You finally emailed all the notes to yourself. You printed it out. Girl, you got an idea. You put it out into the atmosphere. AKA, you emailed somebody. You told your mama them. You went on social media. You post about it. You sold something. Y'all like, I got this idea. I'm starting a business. Here's, it. Here's what it is. Here's how much it costs. Here's where to go buy it. You put it out there. You've made money. Put started in the chat. If you've started your business and you've made money. So A, start up, you haven't made money. B, started, you've made money. As a business owner, black woman, for profit, small business owner, either A or B, start up or start it, okay? I don't see enough startups or started. The math ain't math. And where y'all at? Because see, with started businesses, you need what's known as a growth grant, meaning You've been able to grow that idea. You've been able to flesh out the ideas, put it out there and make money from it. People know what you do. They've supported you by buying from you. You have literal receipts of money people have paid you. You got names, email addresses, mailing addresses, phone numbers. You know that people have purchased from you and you got the receipts to prove it. You might have filed your taxes. You got a profit and loss statement. You can show records of your business bank account statements. See, completely different requirements between a startup and a started. No money yet. Money. Y'all got it? Any other started businesses in the house? Put it in the chat. Started. What questions can I answer for you about the two phases of business? Startup or started? Any questions? Did y'all know about the two phases? Did you know what phase you were in before today? Are you clear on what phase you're in right now? Let me know. I feel like I got food in my teeth. It'll be good. Okay. Any questions? Over at blackwomeningrants.com, I put together a three step.
step guide. It's two sets of checklists. If you start up, here's your checklist of what grants are going to want you to have in place. Even if you haven't made money, you still got to show them that you're taking your business serious enough. You've done things like open your business bank account, free. Got your employee identification number, EIN, free. Come on, set up your social medias, free. So there's a checklist that you need to be going through because they're going to ask regardless of what phase you're in. Then if you've started your business, they're also going to ask for other things that we just talked about. Profit and loss statement, business bank account, EIN, articles of incorporation, etc., etc., etc. Two separate checklists. Check it out over at blackwomeningrants.com. It's called the three-step grant guide. It's built into our mentorship to walk you step by step through the checklist based on where you just told me you are in your business. Start up or started. No confusion, right? With clarity. Okay. You took a grant writing class and you weren't aware of the two phases. That's because grant writing classes are for non-profits. We don't write grants as for-profits. We simply apply for grants and it's a simple application versus a proposal. Grant writers, aka non-profit classes, will have you put together proposals and appendixes and a thesis for real. No, for real. <laughs> we talk about that in the mentorship, all the things that are expected of nonprofit grants. That's why we stay with the for-profit lane, filling out just a few questions about our business. Who are you? What do you do? Why do you do it? What phase is your business in? And uh, that's the difference between for-profit and nonprofit grants. We apply. We don't have to write grants. We don't have to hire grant writers. We got this. We can do this. right. Y'all can fill out an application about your business, right? That's what we do. What questions y'all got? Let me know. Lady says, so many questions. Well, ask me one. Let's start there. <laughs> if you plan to set up as a corporation, meaning you haven't done it yet, so you must be a startup, can the corporation apply for grants? see why not but that's hypothetical if you ain't done it yet you ain't tried it but depending on the phase you're in you may not even need to do your articles of incorporation yet all grants don't require it but they may ask so you do need to be ready but you also need to make sure that you've chosen the right entity so is it a corporation or an incorporation is it your legal, um, I'm sorry, not your legal, but your limited liability corporation, your LLP, your sole proprietor, like, have you decided on what proper structure for your business entity? And don't let that be your deciding factor of whether or not you go look for grants to apply to. There are grants available for both. What other questions can I answer for you guys based on what I've shared? Let me know. Thank you, Katrina. I think so, too. It's <laughs> so no guessing, lady. We sure. You either made money or you haven't made money. It's no shame in either one. They both hard, okay? <laughs> so you need to know what phase you're in. Start up, start it. Because that's going to also determine the rest of the questions on the grant application based on how they ask you. And there are little subcategories of, you know, I'm in startup, pre-revenue, haven't made money yet. However, my idea is fleshed out. My idea is ready for the market. I just need this. I just need that. Or if you started, yes, I've started, but I've only started six months ago, a year ago. I made this much money. I, so there's little subcategories to it as well. So that's why you got to be sure which path you're going down. Because if you go down the wrong path, you're going to get mad. You're going to have an attitude. You're going to want to quit. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm speaking... To who I was about a year and a half ago, okay? <laughs> I'll try to tell you what to expect. Save you some tears. Don't guess what type of corporation you're going to have. Go do your research. Just like we do research on when our friends, our, our besties meet a guy and they be like, girl, let me tell you about this guy. You immediately go into FIB, F, FIB, FBI mode. Girl, did you know he got a criminal record, his license suspended, and he got five kids? Just like we find out that type of information and nobody asked, go do that same type of research for your business and for these grants. Mm -hmm. 
You have to be that thorough. Don't skip a step. Okay. Because just like them five kids, somebody going to be at your door knocking, talking about with their hand out. Like, what you got for me? Okay. So, look into what your next step should be and or consider joining a business training and development program that will help you flesh that out. That's what I'm telling y'all over at blackwomenandgrants.com. I put together a list of eight programs you can go through right now. Tell them your goal is to get clear on what type of entity, LLP, LLC, INC, corporations, that you want to set up for your business based on the stage you're in. And the beauty of these types of um, business training programs that are already funded by grants, money you don't have to go fight for, tuition's already paid, they're waiting on you to apply for free, get a scholarship to go through it, you're going to be surrounded by other women who are in the same phase of business that you are, who are also trying to make these decisions, and who are also getting coached and mentored and hands held about what their next step should be too. So join us over at blackwomenandgrants.com. Get one of the five scholarship spots that are open. It's only $97 for one year. You get the list of programs. You get the list of grants to go read, research, and review and apply to. You get the book that I've written, the ebook that answers a lot of the basic questions about what grants are, what they're not. You get our training recordings that are teaching you the difference between the nonprofit grants and the for-profit. We're breaking it down and it's teaching you what to look for, what to look out for, what to look forward to as a grant winner like Deanna Joy. She won $55,000 after reading just the book in the program over at blackwomenandgrants.com. I interviewed her and I share her interview in the chat and she's spilling some tea. She's sharing with y'all what y'all should be doing to go win this money, okay? Oh, okay. I hope that helps. It's not a corporation if it's not formatted yet. That's what Rafa said, y'all. I'm just reading what she put. <laughs> You're welcome, Katrina. <laughs> File for a corporation with the secretary said, we not going to coach her. Because one thing, that's not going to come back on my live and be like, now back in 2000, uh -uh, we don't do that here. We talking about grants. We talking about the phases that grants want us to be in we're showing you resources to go get it together we ain't the ones to give the advice not me not nobody on this live unless you got these programs in place and you getting paid to sit and help her through that unless that's your specialty so we are adults she got it she know what to do i don't fall for y'all like well what should i do see so all the C Corp and S Corp, we ain't going to do that here. But thank you <laughs> for trying to help. Because see, it changes the course of the conversation. Now we into what are grants? What are grants? So let's talk about this. Has anyone here started to look for grants? Because see, this is Black Women in Grants. Hopefully most of y'all follow the page. Have you ever tried to look for a grant? Just get out your head, go forward, and just see what it's about. Shannon, what did you find? Did you find anything? Rafa, what did you find? And when, when did y'all search last? Because grants are changing. I'm waiting to hear back from two grants now that I really did not understand their, um, the, the what they say. Well, oh, they didn't understand the assignment. <laughs> They changed their rules. They didn't have as many people applied. And I'm wondering if they'll say what happened as a result. You registered with Sam. That's government contracting. We don't talk about that here. So let me break it down because I remember we talked about this yesterday too. The grants that I am familiar with winning, the grants that our ladies here with Black Women in Grants are winning, they're sponsored by organizations like Visa, um, Target, um, Office Depot, Office Max, FedEx, UPS, Verizon, Regions Bank, Chase Bank, Bank of America. Those are called private grants. They're usually gifted to organizations that are already going, like the business training and development programs that I'm telling y'all about. The money has already been gifted. Sometimes when you go through those programs, um, you get 
funding at the end. So Ashley, Ashley, are you here? Ashley Rankin recently finished a program and she got five thousand dollars at the end. Love, who is a part of another community that I am um, a part of, she went through the one sponsored by FedEx, got five thousand dollars at the end. Deanna Joy, who usually joins us here, she went through a program, got five thousand dollars at the end. These are private grants meaning they're sponsored by these bigger corporations, organizations. It's not federal. It's not government-based. It's, um, it's not hard. It just takes concentration because people ask, you know, is winning grants hard? No. Is finding grants hard? No. <laughs> do we have to um, write our own grants? No. Do I have to hire somebody to write a grant? No. Do I need a grant writer? No. Can I pay you to do this? No. <laughs> it's a lot easier than you think. So these are the types of grants. So just... So I can get clearer on the grants that are available to you. That's what I'm time at. Okay. So over at blackwomeningrants.com, there are three lists of grants that come with our mentorship. You get one link. No, you get three links to a list of grants every month for 12 months. So it's a 12 month subscription. These are grants from all over the planet, different countries. Um, most of them are in the U S many of them are state based. And so there are women who put this list together every month and they share the links out. And so um, what you'll see is these are curated private grants that you can go apply to just for being black, for being a woman, for being a for-profit small business owner based in the U.S., owning at least 51% of your business over the age of 18. Okay. So when I say grants, those are the types of grants I'm talking about. So thank y'all for helping me um, to specify because if not, it becomes this bigger world. And grants is a big world. We're in this section where it's off the beaten path and we're still winning money. So we're winning scholarships to go through business training and development contests, um, programs. We're winning contests for small uh, business pitch competitions. We're winning prizes like Office Depot, Office Max has gifted me over $2,000 in prizes. New desk, new chair, notebooks, filing cabinet. Um, $500 shopping spree in their store and online, you know, stuff like that to help you with your day-to-day -day operating expenses to help you save money, cut costs, get paid, get loved on a little bit with some gifts in the mail. Y'all see how this works? A little bit different than federal, nonprofit, government. That stuff just sounds boring to me, but it's fun over here. <laughs> so... You can go do a quick search, Lady Angela. Just put in... Um, what types of grants you're looking for. You can go do your own grant search and um, Google is your best friend and it will tell you what grants are out there. The only difference is you got to go and fine tune. The ones I share for you for free because I don't charge you for a list. I can't charge you for something that I haven't created. That's why I'm not selling, saying I'm selling you just a list of grants. No, I'm saying as a bonus for joining us in the mentorship, you get the same list of grants that are shared with me. And so I threw it in as a bonus. However, if you want to go curate your own list, you're going to be competing with white men, white women, other cultures, other businesses, other levels, and it gets deeper. So you're going to lose yourself in the process of trying to find a grant opportunity versus the 200 on our list that have been vetted specifically for being black women, small business owners, for profit based in the United States. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, you could go do a quick search. And get your own, or you can let me send you ones that are gonna that's gonna save you a lot of time and frustration. <laughs> and uh, that's what comes as a bonus, and it's a lot of other cool bonuses like the grant tracking sheet. So Ashley Rankin, um, she is in our mentorship, and she's applied to over a hundred and twenty thousand dollars in grants. She's won eight thousand five hundred in grants and these grant funded opportunities. She created something called the Grant Tracker Template that's also an added bonus. I'm not charging you. It's a part of the program that Ashley gifted to you. And she's giving you the individual li links to the first eight grants that she's personally applied to. So she knows this is a grant. It's legit. I've applied. Go apply. See if you can win too. So, things like that. Little bonuses little quick wins to help you get a little bit further on your journey. Because you can have a list of grants, but if you don't know how to answer the application answers, just like we went over at the first part of this live, with breaking down your social impact, your social measurement, your return on investment, aligning with what the grant is looking for, you're just going to be sitting applying for grants. you got to have a strategy to win these things, especially in the private sector, because these companies are looking for people to help them look good too. Yeah. 
So www.blackwomeningrants.com. Yes, there is a way to apply for more than one grant at a time. You just do, um, that's actually the number one secret to winning a grant, keeping a grant application out there. So as soon as you finish one, hit submit, go take a nap, take a break, refresh, come back and do it again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> just repeat the process. It's super simple. Um, and we call that grant stacking. So at the end of the month, you know whether or not you've met what we call your grant goal. So real quick, let's talk about grant goals. If you were to win a grant today, how much can you see yourself winning? Like how much would be a really good amount for you to win through a grant, you think? Talk to me. Let's put our grant goals in the chat. How much do you want to win in a grant? This should be easy and quick for y'all. I'm going to need some answers real quick. Amen. Amen. That's if anybody want to answer. You don't have to, though. Starting off 150K, I like that. 50K, okay. That's it? That's all y'all got? Everybody else must be multitasking. Okay. Well, <laughs> anybody else want to put their number out there? If you were to win a grant today, how much would you want to win? If you were to win grants as a whole, how much would you want to win? 250k 67,000 is very specific <laughs> that's like a random number hopefully that has meaning to something that you got on like a spreadsheet like okay we need six to seven thousand dollars that's very <laughs> i like it very specific so this is called your grant goal a grant goal is how much you would like to win now let's multiply that number times 10 so take the number that you put, put your 67,000, multiply it times 10, and put your new number in the chat real quick. And let me see what that number is. Y'all do the math real quick. Let's see if the math is math. Okay. I don't know what a holistic business is, Hidden Gem, but check out blackwomeningrants.com and see if it's a good fit for what you're trying to do with applying for grants. Right, so 670000 So what that means is the Akimu. That's how much grant applications you should already have out there. So that means you need to find, I can't even do the math in my head. Figure this out. If you were to apply for a grant today for $1,000, how many other $1,000 grant applications you need to have out there? It does not mean that you're going to win every grant you apply for. You got about a 20% win rate. But that multiplies with every application you put out there. You got a 100% chance of at least being considered for a grant that you've applied to. But you have a 0% chance of winning if you ain't got no applications out there. You're just throwing random numbers in there. You feel me? So the, the grant goal is 67000 But the grant application amount that you need to have out there. Multiply it times 10. And so that means you need to go find grants of all amounts until it adds up to that $670,000. So uh, the question about, you know, how can you have multiple grant applications out there? You got to. There's no limit to how many grants. Think of it, think of it like this. How many jobs can you go apply for today? Because who going to check you, boo? Who counting? Who calculating? How many schools or colleges did you apply to to get into until somebody accepted you? Same thing with grants. How many loans or credit cards can you go apply to today? Same thing with grants. Nobody's checking. Nobody's clocking. Your credit might take a hit every time you apply for a loan or a, grant or, or a credit card, but you can still do it. <laughs> Ain't nobody going to be like, ah, ah. No, no. Nobody's doing it. So keep applying till you hit $2 million, lady. Uh, what is that? 30 You lost me with the comma money. Um, but keep applying. <laughs> Shannon, keep applying. Three million. There we go. <laughs> keep applying. Hey, girl. Yep. Multiply it times 10. So, someone asked um, on one of our recent lives, what are the odds of winning? And if you read the terms and conditions of a lot of these grants, they'll tell you it's one in 500 because they know they're going to put out 500 applications. But if you take that one chance and multiply it times the amount of grants that you've applied for, you increase your chances of what Brother Denzel say, you leaving here with something. 
<laughs> you gonna win something. So it's one in ten. That's my win rate. One in ten. So I know for every ten grants, and it's really more than that, but to make it more like understandable, for every ten grants, which is number one, motivation to go at least apply for ten grants. <laughs> I'm leaving here with so I'm going to win something and I have the track record to prove it and because I know what I did worked now I teach it to our black women in grants.com mentees they go and they win and so collectively together using this same strategy one in ten keep applying multiply that number go apply for that amount we've won over six figures in grants and grant funded opportunities in the last few months mm-hmm I'm glad this live showed up on your FYP too, girl. Welcome. <laughs> glad to have you. Hope you'll come back and hang out with us and join us in the mentorship. <laughs> so that's how that works. What questions can I answer for you guys? we got a few more mementos hanging out here. And if you're over at blackwomenengrants.com, make sure you click the link that specifically says... Click this link for the scholarship. We also have Klarna and Afterpay options. It's only 97 bucks, but those options are available if you need them. And if you're there trying to get in the room, um, claiming one of the scholarship spots and you need me to walk you through it or you're stuck or you have a question, let me know so I can help you, okay? I like it. I'm going to read your question how I see it. What type of grants do you typically win? So I... <laughs> <laughs> the last grant I won. Well, first of all, let's back up to the top of this year. So I applied and was selected out of 500 for a $50,000 grant opportunity. So I was selected to go to round two. So they went from 500 applications, narrowing it down to 76. And then that 76, narrowing it down to 10. And 10 of us get flewed out and get two payments of $25,000. So I'm waiting to hear back from them. Um, get some, they give us feedback on our applications. I'm excited about that. Okay, so that was at the top of the year. Now, I look for super high level grants because I've won so much. I get bored with, I, I have a conquer, like I got to conquer things. I've conquered grants. I've met my grant goal. And now I give back in the form of scholarships here with y'all by giving over $50,000 in grants. So I'm a grant giver. I've gone from applicant to awardee to advisor. So I get paid to advise. I still apply. Like I'm feeling the itch now to go apply. But I'm also looking out for y'all. So I'm vetting these opportunities, sharing them with you guys in the mentorship, sending individual emails to those of you who I know what business you do and what grants you're looking for. But like, girl, the deadline coming up, go apply for this. So I'm out advising and advocating for you guys. I've been in three rooms where million dollar checks have been written to organizations from the companies that I named earlier. They're looking for y'all. We've grown our channel from 400 to 63,000 plus. And so they're like, send some of your letters to us. And I'm like, well, wait a minute. Let me check and see if they are ready. And so they're like, well, in the meantime, can you go to our website? Tell us what we can make different. Or they, I've done several meetings where I'm telling them how to make their grant application questions better. Because some grants were asking questions they wanted answers to. They weren't asking questions they wanted answers to. But anyway, that's another conversation. So back to the grants that I've won. So the grant before <laughs> this year. In December, we were crowned Entrepreneur of the Year and gifted $500 from Office Depot, Office Max, plus um, the grand total was like 1200 in other gifts like coaching and advertising and marketing. They sent me really cute gifts in the mail. Um, I love stuff like that because it's stuff I would spend my money on anyway. Um, so we got the $500 shopping spree online, offline, crowned Entrepreneur of the Year, um, picked out of thousands of ladies that are in the same program that we were in. Um, I'm trying to go backwards, which makes it hard because I don't even know what I had for dinner yesterday. So you're asking me to go back in my records of grants that I've won. So that's just a couple of examples. I know right off the top of my head, another grant I won is called the COVID, Le COVID Relief Grant, um, which I think it was the one before the December one. Don't quote me. Just go read the book because I put it all in the book over at blackwomenandgrants.com. But uh, I won $1,500 plus $12,000 in prizes. Did I say it right? $12,000 in prizes. Yeah. So I had to hear myself say that again. $12,000 in prizes. So coaching and all these just stuff I can't even put up. I didn't even know existed like a digital business card. So now when I go to networking events, people scan my phone instead of me. Let me give you my card and they go throw it away. I ain't got to order no more cards. I got a QR code. Boo. And a grant pay for that and a year of um, Amazon Prime, a year of Audible. They sent me, hold on, she charging, my little baby Bapruda. Little Amazon um, Fire HD. 
that I usually use to walk y'all through the website over at blackwomeningrants.com. So what I love about my journey is I have fun doing this. I have fun applying and winning and then giving back. That's why I win grants because grants have two grants have told me black women check writers have told me we gave you our grants. One gave me two grants. And she said, I gave it to you because I can see the legacy you're leaving. Your vision goes beyond just you. Because, again, they know that I'm going to come learn and help bring people back to them and vice versa. I'm always giving. I'm always sharing. I'm always sewing. So it's not just about, let me win a million dollars. I'm getting there. But I'm doing it at my pace. I'm not stressed out. I'm having fun. I'm helping y'all do it. And we're learning together. And I'm leading by example and sharing my templates in the mentorship over at blackwomeningrants.com. The first grant I want, oh, 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 what was I reading yesterday? Oh, oh, you really want to know like my story of like how I got into it? Y'all put hashtag FYP because I was reading my story yesterday. I was like, I need to share these with the ladies. Let me know. Did I do that right? I got to spell it right first. So I have a website. Um, because I get requested to teach, my coach made me build a website. Man, okay, let me concentrate. Hold on, y'all. Because it ain't coming up. <laughs> it came up on my phone. There we go. Okay, y'all want, oh, y'all know. See, look at all this. Y'all ain't answering the other questions, but y'all want the tea. Okay. Let me take a sip of water and I'll show y'all and dry my story. So, um, I'm one of the meta leaders, aka Facebook. They have a private Facebook group for leaders of um, their platform. And I've been on with them for like four years now. But they featured me in their newsletter um, and shared me with the masses. Facebook, now you can't pay for that. <laughs> Um, I've spoken for Fiverr. Y'all know the people that we hire to do quick odds and end jobs, graphic design, etc. I've spoken for them a couple times. And then this little organization, ADD.org. So if you have ADD, ADHD, um, my talk somewhere in y'all archives. But that's not the best part of the story. Um, I, did, I won a filmmaking contest in 2022. My coach was paid $10,000. To teach me how to make my first business-based documentary just using my cell phone. Now that documentary is award-winning. And my first company, that y'all don't know nothing about, is over six figures and funded. We're almost there with Black Women in Grants. And that's pretty cool in less than a year. And so, let me, um, oh, here we go. So, I have collectively won... $51,700 at last count. I really just stopped counting, and that's the number I've memorized, so that's what I tell y'all. It's more than that, though. Um, <laughs> so I won a grant for COVID relief. I told y'all about that. The first grant I won um, was a small business grant for $1,000. They were looking for 20 businesses to gift um, $1,000 to. I was number 17. I could have been number 20, and I would have still been happy. Can anybody else use the extra one k Just real quick, like, here you go, girl. You ain't got to... Do number tell us what you're going to do with it. And that was it. And I won and I was hooked. So, I like to share that because that's where I got started in 2020. Now, in my personal life, I've won over a million dollars. That's why I'm so cool, calm, and collected. Like, so I'm trying to help y'all. If y'all got questions, I'm happy to help. If not, shout this on you. Anybody else I can help? Um, so, from housing, the car I drive today, one of the cars I drive today, and, uh, Yep, I got 10 years free housing, 100K plus to go to college and get my degree. Um, girl, I can't even remember everything I've won, but it's over a million dollars. I start my story at eight years old. I've been winning money since eight years old. I was featured on CNN at eight years old in the hood. They came to the hood, filmed me for winning a reading contest. My mama got me hooked on this. And so now that I'm in the professional space, Another business colleague sent me a list of grants back in 2020, and I applied and won my first grant, and now here we are, $51,700 later. Um, so I had started applying for grants on behalf of the clients that I serve in my other business, which is training black women Christian certified coaches. Um, 
and those who needed financial assistance, I would go out and win grants so that they can go through the training, get certified, start their businesses, and grants would take care of their tuition. And so I started learning a lot. I put it in a book. The book is over at blackwomenandgrants.com. You're welcome. And uh, we've sold 300 copies so far here on TikTok. Um, many of you guys have seen our viral video about where to find um, free lists of grants. I shared some of them with y'all today here live. And under the comments, it's like almost a thousand comments under that video. And I've been trying to work my way through it slowly. But most people were saying, please help me. Can you help me? I'm interested. Can you mentor me, please? So we started the mentorship over at blackwomenandgrants.com, sharing the top 25 secrets that I noticed that I would go out and do when I apply for these grants and win them. All the way down to being interviewed by a grant check writer like, now let's reverse engineer this. Tell me how you got me to pay you this money out of 400 applicants. <laughs> we gave you the money. And so we interviewed, I share one of our interviews in the mentorship. It's in the book. And that's kind of like your grant guide through the process of where I started, where a lot of our women are starting. Um, Deanna Joy, who I shared about earlier, the, when she, after she read the book, she went out and won $55,000. So it's proving, you know, it's working for me, it worked for her, it's working for other um, winners in our crew too. So, what questions y'all got so far about that? Any questions? <coughs> Y'all quiet. Any ahas, any takeaways? Let me know. The process of what? Applying for grants? It is very detailed. Yes. Um, the last grant application I looked at, which was last week or the week before, they asked a series of 100... 100 questions you think you can sit still long enough for one grant application to answer 100 questions about your business I counted them 100 questions you think that's a lot you know they was asking some detailed questions right some people couldn't make it through that And I checked it out to share because I share these opportunities with y'all now. And um, because I went through that, that uh, grant process already and I won. It was a 10-month program that was paying tuition for you to get additional business training to make sure that as a leader of your company, when it's time to like make more money, sell your company, exit, get more funding, that you will be ready on the higher corporate level. And so, uh, yeah, it was detailed. But if you love your business, if you know what you do, if you're comfortable with sharing your story and selling the vision, writing the vision, making it plain so that he who reads it can run with it, then <laughs> you're comfortable with answering questions like that about who you are, what you do, why you do it, who you do it for, why they should care, why they should give you a grant, what have you been doing before you got the grant, what will you do after. That's part of the process. So hope that helps. So blackwomenandgrants.com is the mentorship site, www.blackwomenandgrants.com, B-L-A-C-K-W-O-M-E-N-I-N-G-R-A-N-T-S.com, blackwomenandgrants.com, blackwomenandgrants.com. Somebody's still going to be like, what's the website? 
What other questions can I answer for you guys? Let me know. I'm happy to answer, happy to help. Any ahas, any takeaways, any notes or nuggets that have been dropped that you were like, oh, I needed to hear that either for the first time or again. I'm putting the website in the chat as well. TikTok won't let me pin it. So make sure you screen grab it, write it down, or go there real quick. It only took uh, takes two minutes to join us in the mentorship. So we talk about uh, grants for black women, for-profit small business owners, natural. But that's a great question to just put in your a quick online search and see what pops up. Because there's so many organizations to help you get started on that end. So in the book, I break down, um, what do we call it? I think it's like a seven-step process, if I'm remembering correctly. I wrote the book over a year ago. Um, and it talks about how long it really takes to go from start to winning when it comes to a grant. So let's say you found out about a grant today. Usually, and this is the, around the first of the month when grants come out or renew then that grant has usually been out for a few weeks, which means they have hundreds of applications already. Then you need <clears throat> a, um, what am I trying to say? Hold on. They've been out. So then you find the application. <laughs> you apply. You need to know what their deadline is because usually a deadline, mm, it can be as quick as 30 days to get that application in. But again, if the application has been out there, you could have a week to get that application in. So then they're going to cut off the receipt of applications they're going to say no more applications we got enough we got more than enough they can also cut it off early if they feel like they got too many applications for that one grant opportunity so then they say we'll give us um so that's the first 30 days then the second 30 days they're going to say give us some time to you know go through the applications and deliberate to see who our winner was and some other stuff that goes on <clears throat> but that's your second so that's 60 days right there and then the third 30 days. They're like in 30, 30, 30. That's the, the rhythm that I've noticed. Every grant can be different. But if I had to guesstimate, it's about a 90-day process from the time you put in an application, wait to hear who won. Um, and if it was you, there's still, after that, there's a process you go through to say, you claiming your prize, you're submitting tax forms, um, you're waiting on the check to be either deposited or mailed, or maybe you have to... Um, sign an affidavit or some other paperwork the grant has then you may even get other things before the check comes you may have to do other things like post on your socials or do an interview or um, one grant I've seen you got to fly out to them and be a part of a show that they're recording showing that you won money well before you even get the check so it could be a process that's why I say keep an application out there because that's just for one opportunity you feel me so you multiply that times 10 that you're supposed to be putting in and multiplying to meet your grant goal, right? And that's going to tell you how long to expect it. But think about it like this. If you're putting an application out, let's say weekly, that's 52 applications. You're going to have so many other opportunities that are going to come from all of these different opportunities because you stay consistent in applying that you're not just sitting and waiting on one grant to hear back or give you feedback. You feel me? So I hope that helps answer your questions. There's no set time or set rule except for what the grant puts in their terms and conditions, okay? What other questions can I answer for you guys before I go? I'm about to wrap it up. This has been fun. Helping you guys get clarity on the stages of business, start up or started. Um talking through what your grant goals are and how many applications you really need to have out there because nobody's keeping track but you literally and financially how much you're applying to how much you're winning we've talked about where to find grants how to find grants um and a lot of other clarifying things like being in the private grant space versus you know federal contracts etc you have a pitch on monday that is exciting. Congratulations. I wish you well. I've recorded the two pitch competitions that I won. They were video, which was really cool. And so I recorded them and put them in our Finding Funding ebook over at blackwomeningrants.com. And I give you my template for the questions that I answer that should be in every pitch. Um, the last person I worked with one-on-one -on -one for her pitch, her name is Ertha. 
She's here in Atlanta with me. She's in another part of Georgia, but we all say Atlanta. I'm actually in the city of Atlanta, <laughs> which is, uh, um, so she won the Black Girl Ventures pitch competition. They travel state to state. And so she won as a part of the Atlanta competition. Um, she got $250 in 60 seconds just for pitching her business based on the work we did together as to what should be in her pitch. And then after that, we helped get her some major press. So she's featured on mega uh, websites plus the BGV um, opportunity. And she's just loving it. She is like still glowing. And she won in November of last year. Uh, she's like, I'm about to follow them from state to state. But I think you got to live in the state. <clears throat> so she went from nervous because she had to pitch at an arena that holds 16,000 people. <laughs> and um, thankfully, it only turned out, you know, a couple hundred was there for that event. So they were in another side of the arena. Um, people who traveled with the um, competition were in line to pitch. And she won over other pros. And this was her first time pitching. So I thought that was so super cool. So we all crying and talking about it. So I uh, share her wins and more in the mentorship over at blackwomeningrants.com. It's a lot of moving parts in the grant space depending on where your interests lie. But it also helps to be surrounded by a community who does this. Templates provided, resources provided, handhold provided. We hang out once a month live on Zoom too. So you can come get feedback. Um, on like applications that you're submitting or where you feel stuck on these essay questions or other resources that you need. Um, let me know where you are in the Finding Funding ebook, where you are in the um, grant game program as a whole with your videos and your downloads and things that you have questions about or what you feel stuck on. So all of the resources or are, are available if this is something that you can see being part of your financial plan. Going out, pitching, pursuing the funds, and actually winning them. You know, it's a whole strategy involved. But I love that you guys are on that path. Even just being here today, getting the knowledge and education that it takes to determine, okay, what types of grants should I be looking for? Where should I find them? What should I say? What should I do? What should I expect? And that's my job here at Black Women in Grants and BlackWomenInGrants.com to help you get clear on that so that you know how to move forward in that space. So hopefully today has helped. And uh, uh you got something out of it. Did anybody walk away with anything? Put hashtag FYP. If you learned something or heard a refresher that was like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> if it got you a little excited, a little hype, like I can really see me doing this a little bit more, a little bit, taking it a little bit more serious. I know what to expect, etc. Put hashtag FYP. Let me know. Good, good, good. Well, other than that, that's all I got. Unless you guys have more questions. Um, you got about five more seconds. <laughs> if you got a question or if you want me to answer, just put wait. If you're over at blackwomeningrants.com claiming one of the scholarship spots, let me know. Oh, forgive me. Who is this? Somebody's been waiting. My bad. Shout it. Felicia, you still here, girl? Hold on. I was not refreshing my screen. I'm sitting here talking to y'all. Hold on, something ain't right. Oh, okay, 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 okay. I was missing something. Making sure everybody that signed up for the scholarship spots received their spot over at blackwomeningrants.com. See who this is. Okay, that's Kim. So Kim, Felicia... Hopefully you guys um, got what you needed. Just want to make sure everybody who signed up to join us got let in today. Okay. Any final questions before I go? Hello, Jamie. Let me just see what that means. I got all these little things. Ooh, okay. Well, that's all I have. Thank y'all for being here with me today. Until we meet again, my friends, remember, <laughs> there's someone somewhere. They're waiting on you to walk in your destiny so they can walk into theirs. Because it's when you let your own light shine, you give others permission to do the same. The scholarship is over at blackwomeningrants.com, Jamie. Um... It'll tell you everything that's in it. 
If you go there and click it and the link still works, congratulations. You got a scholarship. Welcome to the grant game. I will be here Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Sometimes I do pop-up lives as well. So y'all never know. I may be back live today. You don't know. Just be prepared. Make sure you follow this page. Turn your notifications on. Add us to your calendar. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 11 a.m. Eastern. But you want to definitely get notified when we're live again. And I think that's all I got. Y'all have a phenomenal rest of your day. God bless. Bye, future grant winners.